Hey everyone, it's Ross, and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the raspberries. We had moved our raspberries and our blackberries um, actually to this section of the yard. It's still on the west side of the property, getting about maybe six hours of light per day. Um, they were originally in a raised bed, and that's what this originally was actually, was a raised bed. The soil, however, here is not really that great. This is mostly peat moss. What I'm hoping for is that these plants, these raspberries and blackberries can get themselves into the native soil um, if they're not already growing in something like compost. Here we have a young raspberry bush down here, another over there. These two are called royalty. And we have a number of raspberries, different colors, different varieties, because each color of raspberry represents a different flavor and uh, they're quite good. I really enjoy raspberries. They're very easy to grow and they put out a lot of fruit. You can see these are my red raspberries, which are putting out the spring crop or the summer crop right now. Um, that's kind of how these raspberries work is that on the last year canes, the canes from last year, I should say, they will put out a a nice little crop and depending on the variety it could put out a lot of fruit or a very minimal amount of fruit and usually what happens in this location here is that I have so many birds that the birds get all the raspberries at this time of the year and it's not until sometime in August that they just disappear and don't necessarily care about red fruit so then I I don't even have to net them I don't have to protect them and these red raspberries my Caroline variety here is far superior to any of the other reds I've tried. Um, they put out a crap ton of fruit in the fall, in which case there's nothing really that bothers them except for the spotted wing drosophilia because it's a very soft fleshed fruit and you want to make sure that you're coming in here and picking these raspberries every day, especially after a rain. And I'm getting really realistically about a pint every day per plant and now i've got six plants here we've got the yellows in this row this is a pink raspberry believe it or not and it's putting out it's been putting out some raspberries here you can see some i've already picked we'll pick this one here for you guys and it's yellow right now but it does turn pink at least the fall crop has been turning pink and i think the one i ate yesterday was pink but when they're a bit you know uh, a bit younger not as fully ripe they're this yellow color and I want to taste this for you guys tell you guys what it tastes like because this is yellow this isn't red this is not even not only is it homegrown but you know it's uh, it's a totally different type of raspberry that you guys probably are not used to so it still tastes like a raspberry but there's not as much of that raspberry intensity, that tartness, it's really all sweet. And that's kind of it. Um, there is some tartness, but there is some raspberry flavor, obviously, but it's really on a sweeter scale. So for me, I think they're more pleasant, they're more refreshing. Um, I like them a lot more, and that's why I've planted not just this variety here, double gold, we decided to keep this one, but also I put in a variety here called Anne. And a lot of you guys on my Instagram account or Facebook account were telling me to get Anne, but I've already got it, guys. <laughs> I've already got it. Um, Caroline, of course, my favorite red. And then what's in this row is, of course, the, um, the purple raspberry. This is a variety called Royalty. And you can see, actually, on these young plants, it's fruiting right now, which is not good. So what I'm going to do is take off these fruits. We don't want that. We want these things to just grow and grow this year. And in fact, if I was establishing these raspberries, I would take them all off. I would take off all these clusters, let them just get to a large size. And then that way in the fall, when the crop is much larger anyway, on the primacanes, on the new canes, um, we'll be good to go. And we'll have plenty of fruit and it's just gonna help out the plant, I think, in the long run. Here we have actually a black raspberry. This one is the famous black raspberry that everybody loves. What is this? Jewel. So this one should perform really well. It has a, just a different flavor than the others. You know, 
black, purple, yellow, red, they all have different flavors. And that's kind of why we're doing this, to figure out which type we like the best. I think production is going to be so high out here as it, as it has been in the past that it's going to be really difficult to keep up with this every day. Uh, the strawberries, in all honesty, they fruit too much. And I, at certain times of the year, I can't really keep up with them. It's the same thing with the raspberries. I can't get out here every day and be picking six pints of raspberries. That's just too much. Um, <clears throat> and to do that every day, it's just crazy. So, um, plus I've got other fruits that are going on. You know, it's not just these. And I like raspberries. I like strawberries, but again, you know, <laughs> it's, a, it's a good problem to have, but you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of fruit out here, guys, at certain times of the year. And if it, if it's really small, like the raspberries are and the strawberries are, it just takes longer to pick. There's a lot of labor involved. Um, but I also, I want to mention to you guys is that we could come in here and take out a lot of this lower growth, take off a lot of these lower leaves. But what we do want to do right now is inspect the, the canes of these and come in here and thin these out because we only want to select about seven canes from the base, seven new canes. And you can tell the new canes from the old ones by what's brown and what's green. The green ones are new. And by selecting the right number, we're gonna get really productive primocanes. So I need to come in here very soon and do that. I should have already done it, to be honest with you. But um, that's one little tip, is to limit the number of canes from the base. That's gonna also control their size. They're not gonna get too out of control. And they're gonna be more productive that way, without a doubt. Um, from August all the way to frost, um, I get raspberries every day without fail. And um, that's three months of solid production right there, every day. So again, they're extremely easy to grow. Nothing bothers them. They like the heat in this location. I think they like the west side. They like being planted higher. Um, they of course don't wanna dry out, so make sure they don't dry out. But uh, you know, nothing at all bothers them. There's some deer that could come in here and really eat these leaves up. Um, so be careful of deer. They also eat the fruit. But uh, the birds, you know, are the only thing that else that will come after them and the fruit flies. So if you just protect them from the fruit fly, protect them from the birds, you're going to be fine. You know, just come out here and pick them every day and net them if you have to. A net is going to go a long way against the deer as well. Um, so, you know, it's just a no-brainer to me why people are not growing more raspberries it doesn't make sense all right guys take care that little helicopter or plane that just came by is giving me the sign it's time to end this so <laughs> take care guys and we'll talk to you all soon see you for tomorrow's video hit the subscribe button hit the like button follow us on facebook instagram and twitter catch you guys tomorrow